So, Ricky, tomorrow I will teach you how to conduct a velocity of detonation test. What's that? Let's have a look. Oh dear. Oh, what's... Never mind. Velocity of detonation is the rate at which the detonation front travels through a column of explosive. Velocity of detonation provides a good indication of the strength and therefore the performance of the explosive. All bulk explosives will have a VOD range specified by the explosive supplier. By checking the VOD, we can determine whether the explosives are within that range and whether or not the explosives are performing. VOD testing also allows us to match the explosive product to the ground type. First step, we will need to plan how we will set the test up. It's important to get the initiating hole, as this gives a VOD without the influence of compression waves. This is a good standard to measure off. Next, we want to get four to five holes deeper in the shot. This will show us how the explosive is performing after the effect of compression waves hitting it and reduced confinement as the blast is moving. What tools will we need, Bob? We will need a shot track VOD unit, RG6 quad shield coaxial cable, wire cutters, BNC twist on connectors or similar, electrical tape, cable hooks. All right, Ricky, first things first, let's connect the BNC connector to the coaxial cable. It's important that we use a known length of coax cable, for example, 200 metres, 250 metres, 300 metres or 305 metres. The cable length needs to be preset in the unit before it can calibrate the cable. For today's test, we are using a 305 metre length of cable. Now we plug the cable into the back of the VOD for calibration, holding the button down for 7 seconds. The unit will now go into calibration mode. The screen will display the set length of 305 metres. Then a range of numbers, which is the unit heating up to its operational temperature. When it reaches operational temperature, the display will show the calibration factor and it is now calibrated. The unit will now turn itself off. Then we roll out the cable along selected holes. Using electrical tape, we tape a rock to the cable and lower it down the first hole. Tie the cable to a separate rock. At the next hole, tape the cable hook to a rock to double the cable. And lower it to the bottom of the hole. Tie off to a separate rock and leave slack in between each hole. It's as simple as that. Have you got any questions, Ricky? Um... No? OK then, we just need to speak with the bomb crew and tell them to be careful not to run over the cable and to keep the cable taut when loading the hole. Let's roll out the cable to a safe location. Then you can arm the shot track VOD unit. To arm the VOD, we turn the unit on with a one second press of the on off button. The button will illuminate blue and then should be released. A battery status is displayed. Then the unit will show a calibration factor. The length of cable will also be displayed. Once the unit recognises that the cable is connected, it will wait for two minutes to ensure it gets a GPS lock, and then it arms itself. The on-off button will then illuminate red to indicate that the unit is set. The display will then turn off. This process could take a few minutes. Now what, Bob? Run! <laughs> Only joking, Ricky. Blast is not for a few hours. Here we go, Ricky. What's next, Bob? Now we analyse our data, Ricky, and upload the VOD data from the VOD 305 to the cloud for our manager to view. Is that all, Bob? 
That's all that is needed to conduct a VOD test? That is all, Ricky. You did a great job. You can now charge $10,000 a day as a drill and blast consultant. <laughs> <laughs>